Hi guys, welcome to part 12 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. The main focus, the main objective of this part will be to get this little baby here, the first hot air balloon of my fleet, up in the air, airborne, avoiding ideous rotating rods and invisible wires from the ceiling. Already seen them, I don't like them. I hate them, they are not natural. So I will try to a new technique, never used before, never seen before, at least for what I can remember. And it's a pure experiment. I don't know the outcome, I don't know if it will be effective, I don't know if it will be good looking and maybe you will hate it. My objective is to get the outer balloon at an height between 35 to 40 centimeters from the ground in the most natural way possible. Outer balloons in the beginning were supposed to go up, down and nothing else. Yes, for the most adventurous one, the thrill seekers, they will have let the balloon flew for a couple of miles before landing it down again. They didn't knew the outcome of such troubles, so they were scared by it. So just up and down. Maybe 35 to 40 centimeters is not enough for you. You may prefer getting a little higher like that. Yes, very good looking at least for the point of view of the camera, but I will not get there with my first hot air balloon. Maybe in the next, with the next balloons. Let's proceed a little step by little step. Let's try lower aids before exaggerate. Then, then some props if I can make it done and especially the elevator I want uh, to get access to the cathedral and scriptorium uh, level from the other levels. It's still here in this absolutely awful mind of mine, bad, crazy, deranged mind I have, and uh, I will try to quickly sketch it and let you know where I start from, uh, from my from my mind, obviously, but then I will sketch very quickly, very roughly on some paper before modeling it on my computer. I will not show you the entire process, maybe just the starting point and then the outcome of a, at least of a part of it. It will be modular as everything is modular in this 2023 um, new version of my Christmas village. What else? Let's do something, let's continue, let's cross the fingers for the hot air balloon. Well guys, it is time to experiment with this first hot air balloon you have seen me assembling during part 11 of this 2023 series. Experiment, yes. A dangerous experiment. No, sorry, not dangerous. I'm kidding. But the result is unknown. I can't have these first of many of the hot air balloons stick it onto the ground of my Christmas village. I want it lifted. I want it to cough from my uh, Christmas village. So I need a way to lift it up on the air without using some wire to uh, connect it to the ceiling or some rude metal uh, road that will make it turn around and around and around and around. No guys. I want this as natural as possible, as physically correct as possible. And let's say at 30 to 35 centimeters from the ground level of my uh, Christmas village. I will use a new technique. You are seeing here some ropes and I will explain why. 
and uh, this technique I never experimented with it so that's why I don't know the final result I simply hope because I simply calculated it on some paper and in front of my PC if it will work and in theory theoretically it can work but many things can go wrong okay guys so this is the first one and I will not do another time I will not do again the same speech I've done as why I don't like Lemax hot air balloons enough okay if you have seen uh, pictures of Victorian era hot air balloons once in the air lifted they all add some ropes getting on the side of the basket one to three to four that were connected to the ground let me explain why if an hot air balloon is not uh, fixed to the ground is not anchored to the ground it will lift off and then due to the winds it will start going where the wind is going with no way of uh, guiding it there were no uh, cloche on inside the basket there were no um, propellers there were no steering wheels inside so it, uh, it could only get off and then go where the wind please to go right left over the mountains another so they risked to be lost the aeronauts because the first ones were called aeron aeronauts but you already know because recently you certainly see you have certainly seen a movie a movie called the aeronauts if not please do so they were connected in some way those hot air balloons to the ground with some ropes especially because uh, in the very first uh, days between the end uh, between the first days of 1800 centuries the hot air balloons were shown at some i don't know carnivals at some circus or maybe during the um, great exposition in london in 1850 51 so people didn't need to be lifted off and then lost forever around the world so the ropes were connected let me do an experiment that is not the right experiment like that with some rope on the side and then the rope was held or was anchored to the ground so the maximum eight that will go that would have gone the hot air balloon would have been the length of the rope and then when it is time to get to the ground people servant on the ground simply needed to pull the rope and the hot air balloon will reach the ground or even open the valve that generally was on top let, to let escape the uh, hot air okay but those were already sophisticated hot air balloons generally they will be inflated with hot air and then they will go up and then if they wanted the hot air to get down they simply pull it on one or many ropes around the basket stop
stop with the historical explanation. You simply have to, to, to Google for it or simply have to Google for some pictures of uh, real pictures of hot air balloons at some uh, national fairs during Victorian eras. Okay? I will uh, put aside the hot air balloon for now. The, expl the explanation, I think, was clear. Now, the problem with the rope. Yes, you are correct. Why not 3D printing also a fake rope with my 3D printer and simulate a very good rope with filament uh, 3D printed? Uh, 3D printed with a filament in uh, some filament 3D printers. Simply two reasons. Filament or 3D printed objects are just for fun and not for real purpose. The plastic once melted and then cooled down, it takes once again a solid state but the physical papers are not there. If I print, let, let, me, let me bring something. Okay, here. I still have some of the baluster I used for my strange uh, new uh, stairs. If I take this and I apply a little force, a little pressure, it will break. It's not mechanical resistant. Even if I print this in filling it, because this is not a filled in at 100% I can approach the camera. You can see that, sorry, as always I'm doing a mess. Inside it is empty, okay? Inside it is empty. Even if I add this completely filled with a filament, the mechanical properties of such things are not good enough to sustain the weight of my hot air balloon. I will need to use a rope. This is well suited. The diameter is well suited in this case for the scale of the hot air balloon. But 3D printing a rope a cylinder simulating a rope with some uh, design as a rope, it will get the rope, simulated rope, very, very, very fragile and they, it will break. The rope, in my intention, need to sustain the weight of the hot air balloon, like this, guys. The rope needed to be as similar, as realistic as possible and sustain the weight of the hot air balloon as a road will be, but I don't want to use some metal, it is too, 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 too awful to see a metal. I could have used a metal, okay, but I don't want to use a metal. I want to use something that is similar to some rope. And the rope, not just one, obviously minimum two, let's say three or four ropes. I will try to go with three ropes. Sorry guys, I haven't checked the camera. So I was saying uh, the rope uh, will be similar. I will use a rope as a sustain for the weight. So the rope will be connected to the basket of the outer balloon like that. And then er, the rope will be sustaining the weight of the uh, hot air balloon. Obviously, if I use this rope here, it will sustain nothing. Rope, this is um, pure rope, natural rope. It has no property of sustaining some weight. It is flexible as many rope. It is good to 
to tie something or to get something connected to, to something else and then pulled and then pushed. But it is not suited for sustain a weight like in this case. Why I have here another rope with a bigger diameter? Because I even thought, why not using this rope? But we are at the same thing. It's not, it's not rigid, it's uh, flexible. It is some rope. Good, so why I am talking about a rope? Because I will use the rope. Not this one, as the diameter is too thin, even with the technique I will use. So let's remove this rope there. I will use this rope here. How? How? Good question. I will need to do the crazy scientist. I will need to change the physical and the, the physical and chemical properties of the rope, getting it more toward a solid than soft as this rope is. Okay, guys. And you will see that it is nothing difficult. It's not difficult at all. It's at all. Sorry, it's not that special. Okay. What will I use? I will use, let's say, I will cut four, four pieces of rope. And then I will use, you can see, I will approach some epoxy resin. I know you have seen me using many times my epoxy glue, two components epoxy glue that will start curing in about five minutes. But it is not enough fluid. If I can show you that this, this epoxy, as you can see from the bubble inside, is very fluid. And it has a curing time, no, a work time of 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, it starts to cure. Why fluid? Because I will need to soak the rope into the epoxy resin. So I need something that is more uh, near the uh, water fluid than a glue fluid. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Water is the uh, definition of fluidity. Nothing else is more fluid than water. Let's say that, but I know many more products and many more chemical products that are more fluid than water. But let, let's forget. And then glue, and then epoxy glue, it is too dense to allow me to soak, to drench the rope with epoxy. Then, then between two and four and four days of curing time, hoping that the rope will get as stiff, as rigid as some metal rod. Okay, nothing difficult, nothing special, just uh, an elucubration of my mind on how to get a decent result with some good-looking product, with some good-looking material, as a rope will be. Normally, soaking uh, the rope with the epoxy 
uh, will tend to darken the rope to get it uh, as it, it was uh, submerged in water. So water tend to get the fiber colors darker. But I don't care. I can always repaint the rope after the process is done. But it will get from some buff uh, brownish color to some dark brown, not black but darker. It will get darker, absolutely darker. This is crystal clear epoxy resin. If I soak it too much, I risk to get some crystal onto the rope. Um, yes, maybe in plain winter it is acceptable as some ice would have been, but I will, t I will try not to soak too much the rope into, or drench, sorry, the, the, the rope into the epoxy in order to get only the inside and the surface hard rock or rock hard i don't know right now but i wanted to transform the rope into something stiff rigid as a metal is if possible not true metal and in this case after that process the rope will be able to sustain the weight of the basket. Obviously, I will also need to, uh, to do some other process, but after three to four days. So I'm doing this in plain middle of the week, okay? This epoxy here is one to one. One volume of component A and one volume of component B mix it together, then I can soak the rope into the mixture. Some other resins may have different uh, volume components, 60 to 40, uh, 60 to 30, 70 to, sorry, 60 to 40, 70 to 30, or 80 to 20. It, it can vary, on, or even 90 to 10% in volume. I've chosen a crystal clear a crystal clear epoxy resin uh, with volume to one to one. This is some resin used in jewelry, in jewelry to create some jewels, some epoxy jewels, not precious jewels, but it is used for that. Let me get two plastic glasses. Let me mark some volume onto them, like that. I will go with 1, 2, 3. Let's say this level of component A and 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 the same level of component B. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. I think I will have all the time I want. I will start by pouring, but I will not mix them yet. Okay. Component B. Now, let me prepare something, okay? I will use a styrofoam panel like that, and then I can use some silicone mold, use it in this case for little chocolates, or some parchment paper, strange name, official name, also called baking paper, or cookie paper, or as we usually call it in Italy, 
oven paper. It is used to place your cookies or your food into the oven, uh, avoiding the um, the casserole, avoiding the the plate to get stuck with some cookies or everything. So parchment paper or uh, baking paper or oven paper in my case and I will place it on this good I think is more than enough like that now let me cut some pieces of rope of minimum 35 centimeters Good, now I have all the, I have even some extra rope at my disposal here. I will not soak or drench all the length of them, okay? I will soak only this length here, the 35 centimeters I want as a distance from the ground and the hot air balloon so this length here okay the rest in next part not in next part in the next hours I will explain how I did this but if you think about it it will be it will be clear I think I will need some pins so I'm preparing some paints. I will need some some gloves as the resin will get. I will get my hands into the resin. Then component A. and the component B Okay, now, hope you can see, I will do this. One. Two. Maybe three. pins in the side where I don't have the resin okay then I will remove the mask tape here simply because otherwise it will be <laughs> glued forever to the rope
good like that. Then the same thing here with this one. Like that. And then obviously to get the, the rope perfectly straight, I will pull and then use some other pins. Hope you are, maybe I will go up. Okay, like that. And I'm fixing this. Like that. And the rope here, even if it's in this direction is straight. Obviously a rope is always straight. If you pin it there, then you pull, then you pin. It's always a straight line. Let's recap if here you are, we have a 35. Maybe a little more than 35, but I, uh, this, is done, this is not important right now then. I will calibrate everything once uh, I've completed everything. So now, what will I do? I will do the exact same thing with the other ropes, then I will have an update with you guys. Okay, now, one, two, three, four, five ropes, uh, almost the same length every time, between 35 and 37 centimeters. Okay, and so this is the first step. I can't continue right now. I need at least two to three days of curing time, of setting time. So I will uh, try to update on this in three, three days, sorry, in three days, three slash four days, okay? So see you in some days. Well, guys, let's continue. It is three, three days after, okay? This took three days. I let these set for three days. You can see that if I remove those little uh, pearls, those little pieces of uh, resin, it's not a stick very well to the parchment paper, to this baking paper, so it was effective. Do not get anything stuck to the uh, styrofoam or anything else. Let me remove the pins. Let's talk about those little things here, okay? Maybe some residual of resin to remove a little more, but I have a perfectly hard and stiff section, a soft section here and another soft section here. It's intended guys, it's intended. So let's try to work on three of them, okay maybe four. One, two, three of them, like that, almost identical length, like that. I will try to work on three of them. Good. Uh, I will need to prepare the ropes here and then I will continue and then uh, have the hot air balloon here at an height of 35 centimeters 
and then I will continue with this little experiment. Good, let's try to remove some excess of resin there. I will remove an excess. Well guys, here I am with my first hot air balloon and my three pieces of rope that I've cleaned a little more. Uh, I will approach the camera because I decided not to paint them, okay? If I paint them, I will lose the pattern and the texture of the rope that is still visible under all the coat of resin I've used, of epoxy resin. And if I paint these with acrylic colors that are completely matte colors, they will uh, cover all the pattern and the texture of the rope. And it will seem like a nonsense rod that I don't want. So I will leave this like that. I've simply added a coat of matte transparent lacquer uh, to avoid some of the um, shiny effect of the um, epoxy resin. First, let me do this. Crazy design, I know, but I will only need the basket for what I'm concerned and it will be more visible for you. I will put away the top of the, of the balloon. Then here I have two pieces of styrofoam of 38.5 centimeters, one and two. Hope you are seeing it correctly. Maybe I will stand and show you the rest, okay? Those two pieces. Then I will have two pieces of wood, simply normal wood that I will get together. Now guys, here, the little pieces of rope, I will use them like that. And right now you will understand why I left these long pieces untouched from resin here and this one to there simply because I want a base there, but mainly because I will need a soft side, a soft uh, part of the cord of the rope to get inside the basket and get sticked to the basket. Okay, let's try step by step. Let's have some epoxy glue ready, my five minutes. So I will have not more than five minutes to, sorry, I am in plain like that. Okay, I will prepare some epoxy. Five minutes of work time.
Okay. Okay, guys. 10 minutes. Not a simple and absolutely fantastic work to do because you need to spend a lot of time in the same position. But I think the resin has started to cure. Okay. So first one. For the second one, I will go the opposite way. Okay guys, let's see where I am now. It can work, I think, but let's improve the stability. That's my vision with ropes, sorry for the noise, with three ropes not getting in the same direction as ropes didn't get in the same direction. I know that concerning the leg here, the foot, uh, the legs here, the, the, the end of the rope, it would have better to be going around uh, getting the rope the, in the middle and then all the rope around but in reality it doesn't work like that it is always the rope from the outside that is uh, unrolled and then rolled the last part in the middle in the center is always the last one getting in the air if it needs to get in the air then I can always use some pins like that to secure that to the to the main uh, um, styrofoam platform, but you are saying, will this be able to sustain the weight of the the complete weight of the hot air balloon? Let's test it. Good, it is a first. It's just a matter of setting the three legs. And then fixing the legs where they, were, where they will be. 
but let me go a little more towards the center triangles guys never fails it's the base of <laughs> mathematics triangles forces triangles then i simply need to regulate this in order to have perfectly triangles and these will be stable okay guys uh, i know right now you are see you aren't seeing anything but believe me that the top here and then the rest look okay so this is in the air is airborne just need to regulate each time the legs that's why i use it also the uh, epoxy resin because it's not as if i were uh, were using i was using some uh, some metal road that is completely stiff. This is at least a minimum bendable. So this will be used like that. And your air balloon is airborne. Yes, guys, I'm going old school right now. Some paper, a pencil and an eraser right now. Because I always do that when I'm trying to start something new for my Christmas village. And right now I'm trying to sketch the new elevator that will bring people from level one up to the level where I have the cathedral and the scriptorium. I always do that and I simply hope to have told you that I will bring this into this part. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you that because right now I'm, I'm in the middle of the week and uh, days before I will shoot the intro for this part uh, 12, yes, part 12. So let's just hope to have done something correctly and told you that. Uh, I'm in the middle between two words, guys, old school and new school with all my PC, all my software, etc. Technology and old school. Woof! Uh, the only generation that suffered this is the one I lived in. Okay, I'm still living in. To be honest with you guys, I, right now I have two mad ideas concerning the elevator. First one and then second one. Okay? For the first uh, one, I have uh, something in mind, uh, such as uh, some sort of a crane. Okay, guys, some sort of a crane that obviously with some old triangles to get everything connected where they want with an arm, an inclined arm like that that will have some rope that will be angled on some sort of a basket okay some sort of a basket with people inside obviously the basket will be with many ropes like that okay that will bring people from ground zero up to somewhere with the rope getting in some sort of a wrench somewhere, maybe like here, some wrench, okay? With the rope getting there and something like that. To be honest, this was my first idea and I generally sketch this very roughly as I'm doing right now because it helped me getting focus on what I will be, be doing and if it works correctly. 
or if it will have some problems working. The crane is effective with, yes, but a little too dangerous for the people, okay? A simple basket, a little too dangerous. The rope with a single rope there. But it absolutely can work like that, okay? Uh, sorry, I went to the second idea, but the wrench is a wrench, so okay, and something different, okay. Uh, yes, too simple, too too old. Okay, cranes were in the beginning, like the first years of the medieval ages. But it is effective. Second idea is something a little more elaborate. Let's go into a, a symmetry. It's a little more elaborate. Okay. Uh, No, maybe not like that. It is too complex like that. Let's try a front view. It's from the bottom, yes, from the bottom. It's like having an initial platform like that. like that with some support with some triangles getting maybe i i like i i i love triangles because they help me getting the structure hyperstatic so no problem at all and then maybe with some rails like that here before getting in the middle with some rails like that Okay, and then the passage to get a true like that. And then here will go the entrance of what will be the main focus. Obviously, it will also need some sort of uh, uh, stairs to get access to it, maybe a double stair like that to get access from one side and from the other side so the steps etc from one side and from the other side can be effective with something like that a big a big starting point like that Uh, this I don't like it precisely maybe I will go I will go let's say it is better if I'm going this way and this way yes it's more representative of a, a stair with the steps getting from one side and from the other side here and then inside the platform getting access to something like that with a structure maybe always with triangles like that and needs to be supported so even more so with even more triangles like that okay and then this will be uh, two level one one stairs from each side and then uh, maybe i will work in something so if I was to have this in front view, maybe I will go to show you
90 degrees. Then Alusters, then here. Something like that. I will do the balusters only uh, in the back there in order to let you understand and from the other side the same thing with the this time the balusters are from this side here and the steps being in inside so double okay some sort of that so those stairs here those stairs here will be these stairs in here and with the steps and then proceeding with the cabin with the support for the cabin being there etc okay so this is the right side or the left side okay with this Yes, it is rough, but it's a way for me to figure it out. I can't also do I can also do a precise um, drawing, but I prefer to sketch like that. It is it is better for me to sketch like that and then going in the other side. Okay, so uh, between this point and this point here, I. This is complex, that's why I definitely I'm not going with a crane, but I'm going this way here. Yes, this should have be vertical, I know, but the general idea is here, guys. Okay. Uh, and then and then and then and then and then some cabin some cabin to be placed inside this space here from here to there a cabin that can go up and down okay a cabin that can go up and down i don't know maybe from the front side like like that okay with a window here with a door like that and maybe another window there with people getting seated with people getting seated or standing okay so getting seated or standing waiting for getting somewhere else 
and then and then and then and then and then to let you see this is the front maybe to let you see from another angle like I did before Okay, like that. Okay, it's like having the cabbing in the same way. But here to have, I don't know, maybe something. With a hole here and the equivalent from the other side that will get together two ropes like that that will join in plain middle like that rope one rope two then in the middle here a big rope like that with the cabin a little hole here for getting out maybe I don't know yet with the cabin getting on some rails Yes, but, and the elevation, this will be modular. Maybe I can get this, so the cabin needs something the same width that can be maybe like that okay with something like that and here on the opposite maybe a little bigger there with here like that some holes and the uh, some insert to get so this will be one one Stockable one upon um, one on top of the other to get the cabin here moving inside those vertical rails. Okay, inside those vertical rails, triangles, guys. I'm uh, thinking about the structure and if it will be a, I will be able, it will be able to support all the weight and from the side view maybe something from the side view some and then to get the structure properly maybe some big X crossed there, okay, from back, from top to bottom and from bottom to top. If I'm going to see this other section is like having 
this, this, and then those cross here are meant to be like that from the side. I'm not uh, a drawer in the old ways. That's why when I discovered that I could draw my all I wanted with my PC, I went directly to 3D to everything. It's it's uh, uh, something very useful. Okay, so that's why I generally sketch roughly uh, like that and then go directly to the PC where I can to do parallels and then go as in isometric like that very very easily done etc and this is generally I already draw too much because uh, generally I'm going <laughs> one face to face and then stop and then getting there towards but as you can see i will never stop using using triangles uh, by any means i will always use triangles okay like that because they help me do whatever I need to do obviously this isn't a structure this structure also need some horizontal support there maybe not vertically maybe not on top but on the bottom yes to get and while I'm sketching this roughly I'm thinking about one little problem will be this printable without supports without supports I don't know and then and then on the top uh, I still have the top and then at the top maybe I will go directly with something like that with a hole in the middle for the cord and then 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 maybe something I don't know right now, maybe something like that with a barrel like that where the rope can get on, the rope getting down and then some, some wheel, something, maybe an handle, maybe an handle like that that will allow people to go up and down with the rope that will bring the elevator on top not uh, motor powered but human powered as the old ways would have imposed okay guys so the rope here on the barrel some post there to get the barrel horizontally on top and then a wheel or a lever like that to allow me uh, pull uh, up or pull or pull down or suspend the, um, the the elevator so platform cabin I still don't know if I need Uh, it's easier to model with with my tablet okay 
it's easiest to model let's have him at like that some hairs i don't know and this one standing right in the middle okay yes yes like that yes the cabin the cabin like that yes 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 it may work the cabin is the main focus here of the elevator sorry check at the camera guys yes the cabin the main platform getting up there wait the side here with some stairs getting from here from there getting access to the cabin that will be in here okay and then the elevator going up with these elements i don't know if i will be able to match the height of um, the level that is 24 centimeters 24 centimeters uh, with all these elements and getting precise at <laughs> at uh, two, uh, uh, 24 centimeters with the last roof there where but it will go over because this because the cabin yes the cabin will need to be at 24 centimeters here the door of the cabin need to be at the level of the scriptorium and the cathedral so the cabin here must have with the last element here at 24 centimeters so here it must be the last element i will put one upon the other will be at 24 centimeter with the cabin having the door opening at exact 24 centimeters hope to be able to get there but i don't think I don't think so. Maybe I will need to adjust the layout, getting some more over 24 centimeters. This needs to be in scale with everything else. I don't know. So uh, one platform maybe divided in two, in two with the legs and then the support, and then the the. Um, down section of the axis then a cabin then some stacks that will be uh, modular and then going one on top of the other with the triangles and then on top of the roof of the cabin not the cabin no 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 uh, not the cabin because it will not work it needs to be on top of the last on top of the last of the last stack yes this roof here will be on top so the last one um, the last one the last stack will have this as a roof here on top okay we'll have this the last one we we'll have this and then the handle or some sort of a wheel i don't know right now but the last one the top one will have this as a roof okay uh yes let's do this mm, uh, obviously this entire structure I will try to have it modeled simulating wood because they only add wood and nails to do such things from medieval age up to uh, industrial time with uh, steam powered engines but I've already done steampunk this will be man powered okay guys so sorry if you find these very rough and the sketchy rough but i i work like that i work only with rough then i clean 
what I've drawn on paper in my computer, on my computer, on my PC. I don't know if I want, no, no, no windows here. Here, simply some, some wood planks there. Uh, so you aren't seeing, I was thinking if I want a window there, but no, simply some wood planks here. Okay, guys, some wood planks there. Okay. Mixing, I'm mixing 3D <laughs> with planar drawing, with surface drawing, so 2D with 3D in the same paper, and I don't like it most particularly, but this, this, this yes, this, this can work, guys. Let's go with this solution here. Let me model, I will start right now modeling, I will not finish today, obviously then, I will print something and then show you the result. Yes, this I, I will not. I will not show you how I model this because you have already seen me modeling things on my PC. But yes, this this can work, guys. So solution number two will be the elevator. The Medieval elevator, medieval wooden elevator like that. I still don't know how to figure out a little rope to get this, but I'm not there yet. Let's go and model this. Okay guys, sorry I haven't finished cleaning the mess for, from the hot air balloon, sorry. Uh, <coughs> sorry. During uh, the week, what I did, I forgot something. Yes, it's here. Do you remember this? <laughs> Obviously, I've just seen it, but it's uh, three days since I last seen this. Okay, guys. So. This is one, guys. Still need to clean. Just finished printing the last piece. Okay, guys. So, this is supposed to be this part here. The part that will go like that. Okay. That will uh, be the main access platform to the cabin, okay? And this I could print it flat on the surface like that. But if I wanted also the stairs, like this one, guys, and those are the stairs, okay? I had to do with this solution here because it will be impossible to print without the support this little thing here, okay? Uh, because this would have been in plain middle here, the parts that are in, in, in the middle, and it would have not printed uh, without support. But this is the main structure that, we, that I intended. And I've tried to respect what I've drawn here, what I did some days ago with the lateral stairs there, two stairs. I know uh, you have already seen me doing some two-sided stairs, but I love two-sided stairs. And the main platform there with plenty of triangles, guys. You, I don't know if you can see, but plenty of triangles, okay. And uh, <coughs> And then, so, this is the main entrance, except the cabin, guys. This, I, I, it, I ended up, because I forgot when explaining to you the cabin, that obviously on the floor, you will get access to the cabin from this side here. 
but once at the top you will not be able to exit by the same door, by this door here because this will be at this level with the wall there and then when getting up the cathedral will be in that direction <laughs> so here my mistake i simply drew why why oh, sorry one door and two windows but instead this needs to be symmetrical two uh, two doors or two and two windows and then here some wood plank as i said and this little thing that will help me getting getting the maybe i have I don't know, it, it's the shadow guys, sorry. <laughs> I thought I have some problem with the lens. And these little holes there, hope you can see them. There uh, are those little things there that will help me get these elevated. As the system will go, so the cabin will be inside here and it sit inside and will be up and down i i miss something sorry guys i was missing the stack there that will bring everything to 24 centimeters <coughs> so cabin there and those little things there oops 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 those little things there those little some sort of pyramid pyramid i did that are those pyramid there and those one here that you've seen there will help me get the stack on top of this little thing there sorry i just have one of them but i tried to go as close as possible to what i modeled here with the triangles yes this is a little larger for the structure <coughs> <coughs> sorry this is a little larger otherwise the structure wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be possible to to resist the weight and then triangle here triangle here and then from the side there, this is the side, even here, the cross there. It is there with the bottom side there. And one on top of the other. This will be uh, one on top of the other. So the main structure will be like that. Then the cabin inside then those are the stacks that will allow me one on top of the other to get the elevator that will go up there in the middle okay that will slide from there up to the last level and i sorry for the camera and i will try to make this usable okay and so this is my way of seeing i still miss the top there and everything i don't the time to model this is easily modelable because once you have done the base there you simply put some some uh, symmetrical wood parts one on top of the other then the end rail easily done then this one too is simply a cube cut with some so i modeled this with a, a cube not precisely a cube because a parallel parallel because this is not precisely a cube but as a cube then placed a um, a shorter cube inside to open this side then another little cube here to open this side then one 
cubes there to open. So it's like having some booleans. The main structure then I uh, subtracted all the parts to get this. Also this very simple then added this little bracket there to support. Very easy to, to model, not, uh, not that much to model. These 10 minutes to model this, okay? It's squared, almost squared then. Um, one post, two post, three post, then triangles and then the cross there, but those also are triangles. Everything work with triangles. This is <coughs> awful to see, but it was the only way to have the stairs connected to the main structure there. And here I simply have some Y shaped repeatedly, and then this is cut uh, in the middle, one side and the other, then something in the middle. The only way to have, and this can be printed without support up there, these two can be printed without support, okay? I could have done a cube there, a large piece there, but not very good looking. This way, it is way better. Then I have some, uh, some uh, base there, okay, etc. This is my way of doing this elevator, starting from some scratch this. I haven't decided uh, what to do with the, the top side, but maybe in part 13 you will see it in part 13. That's the starting point of the elevator, guys. Final recap of part 12 of the 2023 series, and I'm not going to start from the hot air balloon, but from the barrels, guys. They are among the many, 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 many props I needed to uh, 3D model and then 3D print to bring life to the uh, Viking fishing village. Many of them. I modeled a barrel full of fish there, simple one big barrel then inside some some fish okay not very well defined because this is printed with a filament printer and the filament printer in, is not precise as a, a resin printer then small barrels i've generally used in past season uh, pre uh, pre and those barrels there okay they are from a company that makes uh, uh, props for nativity crypts, okay? So something very common in Italy, as I told you many times while visiting the, my preferred uh, Christmas store. And uh, they are resin and simulating wood. Uh, you don't have uh, all of them from Lemax or Department 56, but I could, uh, and these are not that cheap. Uh, this is uh, two euros, two USD for one barrel. I don't think I will buy uh, any more of them in the future, but compared to what I've modeled, they are uh, of another um, dimension, yes, but I think I will go with mine. Then I've also modeled a group of three like that, that will fit wherever I want. Once again, triangles that fit on some corner like that, they can fill on some corner like that, or against the something flat like that, okay? Same thing with a group of five, always having a symmetry. They can also fit some other barrels like that, going not a symmetrical, okay? But these can fit around a pole, around something like that or stand two of them like that, or then like that. So whatever you want, or then like that, two or even three in a row. Uh, props, yes, needed, yes. Barrels were commonly used, especially on a, a Viking fishing uh, village. Then guys, I also painted a little more white because glycerin can be painted, I've used some water mixed with the same pig white pigment I've used for um, getting the water less transparent. 
but if you mix some water with the with that pigment that is nothing else that some uh, titanium white pigment you can paint over anything you want and in this case i painted some of the uh, of the bigger biggest uh, waves okay so i put some effort on the uh, white waters this is getting more movement to the sea and even there guys okay i can go closer if you want but I simply painted um, the top of the, the waves like that and adding uh, some more movements and this uh, <laughs> i will continue adding something until uh, last day where i decide it is time to film uh, the final uh, the final video of this by part 24 or 26 I don't know right now but if I can improve something I will continue improving something then guys bar barrels there crates here I model a uh, different type of traits a cubic crates um, th these are like having a two cubic crates uh, one beside the other, some uh, uh, crates that are more um, travel luggages or travel crates. These are for crates for goods and the simply wooden crates with some nails, etc. Those are more some, um, some travel crates, some travel luggages, okay, like that, even this one, but they will fit well even on yeah, beside a boat like that okay and i will print many of them and those come in a series of three and i thought that crates and the luggages and barrels were a must for <coughs> a fishing village like that for a viking fishing village for a village that has also docks nothing here but also here i added some white on top of the waves especially there guys where those were too green and not enough white and this is the only little section this one here this one and this little one there where i used some um crystal clear uh, silicon coke very small amount and I used it on top of the glycerin there but it was too much uh, intoxicating so I decided why not going completely with glycerin so then from this side here I went all glycerin all in with glycerin here too uh, some white waves painted on over everything still haven't had time to paint the figurines but sooner or later i will do it i've cut the perimeter around the stairs there because it's well it was deranging me that i still needed to make some little fixes here and there but right there right that <coughs> like that it is better for me so some mise au point some adjustments in during this week and uh, a very hard time modeling all those props guys but as i am kind i will go this way guys i know i don't have a background right now but this is the effect of what i intend as an outer balloon in the air with the easiest way possible and the most natural way possible and also from the distance guys it is 35 centimeters from the ground from there to there it is 35 centimeters and right now i'm using only three legs let me call them three legs only three ropes right now like that maybe i will add a fourth one there to to get it more stable and i can also move it and it will not fall down guys okay uh, i can shake it i can move it obviously i fixed this with uh, some big pins because right now i don't know if that will be 
the final spot where I want this first uh, hot air balloon, maybe in that square there in front of the uh, new uh, stairs, double stairs that will get access to the to the uh, um, giant fairy wheel. But even once more from the distance, guys, and it is not preventing any point of view because even if I have some other buildings there, I still will be able to see them. Let me add the stage under it and maybe not precisely like that, but even with a stage, I can manage to get there. I simply need to have uh, some post there, get a ride to the hotel balloon, something like that. As I told you uh, some minutes ago, to have a better support, the here the end of the hard part there of the stiff part should have been in the middle of the rope to get precisely a, uh, a circle around in the middle but it's not like that that ropes are rolled on are rolled it is this way so the middle always the last part to get unrolled Sorry guys, problem with the camera. I was saying I know that this is not this is better to have uh, the center here in the middle and then the rope uh, unrolled around the center piece there. The center are the stiff piece there. Uh, it will get more support because this is the point where all the weight from this rope here is pushed towards the um the um, the ground but it's not that way that uh, uh, ropes are rolled uh, in circle like that the middle the center is always the last part to be unrolled when with ropes and the ropes were generally meant to be like that to avoid having them getting uh, impossible to uh, to use them because of knots that will manage off uh, with uh, uh, unrolled ropes. Okay, guys, so three bases like that. Maybe I will add a fourth one, but right now I can move it. As you can see, it is moving, but it is stable. I can all also place it. Uh, let me go crazier. Let me show you Anubis while I'm <clears throat> putting this. I will try to show you the effect in the middle of the village. Let me go back, 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 back. And then with the buildings, guys, this is the effect, okay? Uh, on top of the buildings, the buildings uh, being there, so I can also place it in plain middle of the uh, of the Viking village, and from an higher view, it is like that. Okay, guys. A good way of having a natural way, a good way, no, a natural way to have. A uh, not air balloon in plain air in a Christmas village. At least this is my opinion. You can always aid me for having uh, found that solution. Okay, guys. So let me go once again towards the other side for not Anubis, but for the uh, elevator. I know white uh, against white is not that good. Like that. Maybe I will turn it a little more. But this is what it will be interesting to have. An elevator. Never seen before a such an elevator in a Christmas village. I think I'm crazy. I know with the cabin inside that can lift up and go down okay 
and then the stack. I don't know the outcome because this is, let's say the stack will end here, so we'll end there. This will go with another one there. Okay, we'll go there. And if I'm going there, you can see that the cabin will not be, maybe you aren't seeing it. You can see that using two more, the cabin will not be at the level of the, of the rest of the buildings there. I still miss three centimeters. So my design is not that good, but I will need to figure out a way to, to correct that problem. Okay, maybe from the distance, I wasn't so clear. This is where it ends this stack here. So next one will be there and the third one will be there. The cabin will still miss two centimeters to get on the right, <coughs> on the right um, level. Maybe I will need to get something different for, for the last stack. Right now, I don't know. But I couldn't. I could have uh, measured more correctly everything. I can always add some uh, something more, uh, not to go with twenty four centimeters, but going even uh, higher. But right now I'm not there. Let me finish three D printing uh, three two more stacks. Then I will. Uh, I will think about it. Obviously, I can get the stacks uh, taller, okay? I can push them a little up towards the up. I don't know right now. I'm not there, but this isn't perfect. I know maybe I will have to correct it in some way. So guys, this is all for this part 12 and see you for the outro. That's why I love triangles and mathematics. That's also why you shouldn't have said in school, I hate mathematics. I'm sure they will never bring me anything in life. Ah, wrong. Sorry guys, I'm stupid as always. That's the version one of the Otter Balloon in the air. Perfect way, maybe. Wrong way, maybe. But it's a natural way of having it in plain air. Yes, it is. Maybe also it will need a fourth leg, because just with four, I don't know if it is stable, but if I move everything and if I move the <coughs> hotel balloon, it will continue to stand. So for now, it works. Uh, the angle must be uh, the, sh the lower possible between each legs, but I will need to find the correct space to place it and then fix it with some giant pins. In that way, it will never uh, fall down. The rest, you have seen the props, the barrels, and uh, the crates. Let me switch to the other camera, guys. So, guys, here I am once again, and that is the hotel balloon from this point of view. Uh, maybe a little adjustment for, uh, of the legs is necessary right now to have the perfect <coughs> angle, but ropes weren't perfectly aligned at the triangles, so even the solution may be strange. No rods, no <coughs> invisible wires hanging from the, <coughs> from the ceiling, sorry, and the ropes were used like that in Victorian era times, here for the hotel balloons and also on the docks. 
<coughs> you are seeing the water from an higher, uh, the, the, that point of view here, this higher level here. And I don't know, maybe not too much, I will remove my glasses. Right now, I think I will go once again toward the other camera. And right now, I think I will have a big problem getting the elevator and the new level here, the cathedral and scriptorium level, aligned at the same level. I will try to figure out what is the best solution if uh, uh, getting the stacks higher, taller, or get some more styrofoam uh, on top of those 24 centimeters. Let me know if I'm crazy or if I try to find a new way of getting all the hot air balloons you want in your Christmas village. Please don't forget to subscribe comment and give big giant thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my once again awful English and see you for part 13 next week. Bye guys!